tough conversations <coughs> are tough. No one really wants to have them. Um, sometimes we consider them awkward and quite honestly, even somebody who has tough conversations pretty much on the reg with my clients as a psychologist, they're not fun to have. So I just had to have one on Wednesday night and I'm about to have to have another one to follow up that conversation tomorrow morning. And in me knowing what I need, want, and desire, now I can't unknow. And now my body's like, oh, you know, that, that tension between when your body is like, oh, you know that you're not, not in alignment. That discomfort is so strong for me now <laughs> that my body's like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, so much better now that it's, it really can't stay in that place very long, <laughs> which is great and uncomfortable. So the conversation has to be had. And I guess today's post is just really to say, hey, it makes sense. Yeah, the conversations are fucking hard to have. And yet we still have to have them for ourselves. And it's a get to. We get to give ourselves what we want and desire. To live from a place of want and desire, not yearning, not need. Yeah, right? That's the fucking juice.